are lots of different cars on today's roads. Cars of every size, description, age and price. Of course, the professional salesman will know often instinctively, but usually through experience, who owns or drives what. Not difficult, is it, to make a fair guess at the kind of person who owns this? Most of us would get pretty close to describing the owner of this specialist vehicle. And the kind of person who owns this presents few problems in a quiz. Now, who drives this car? Not so easy, is it? The fact is that a B-class car, like Fiesta, isn't owned by any single kind of person. Small cars like Fiesta are bought by lots of different kinds of people for widely differing reasons. So, if there's no typical buyer, there's no one way to sell, is there? Of course, the salesman's job is certainly made a good deal easier if he has a first-class product to start with. And in New Fiesta, he surely has that. But, however good the product seems to you, and however many different types of buyer there are, with whatever specific needs, you may be assured that all, yes, all of them, will need to be satisfied on three key issues before you can start selling to them at all. These three issues are durability, quality and reliability, economy and cost of ownership, and price. So it's important to recognize the Fiesta quality story and know how to put it across. Fiesta is built using the latest robotics, computer technology and statistical control. A small car using many new techniques. Let's just remind ourselves of one or two benefits they bring. For instance, the first fully molded high precision seats, which are not only supremely comfortable, but designed to be squeak and rattle free in service. For many people, freedom from rust is the acid test for quality and durability. So Fiesta's 24-stage anti-corrosion treatment will be immensely reassuring. Under the hood, Fiesta HCS engines now offer fully electronic ignition. With no distributor and no moving mechanical parts, it's set for life and ensures optimum timing. Economy of operation is entirely the buyer's choice thanks to a wide range of power units, from 1.6 EFI to new HCS engines, lean burn CVH overhead cam units, and the new 1.8 high economy diesel. Fiesta's competitive pricing, linked to Ford's single-mindedness in producing a car with low cost of ownership in the real world, benefit the buyer by producing a value for money package, which is second to none. New Fiesta is the considered sum total of deep thinking on every aspect of how a car is used, from suspension to service intervals, giving excellent overall economy. But remember, this excellent quality and value story will not, on its own, sell the car to these people. They expect attributes like those, and probably won't even consider Fiesta if they don't believe it satisfies these basic needs. What will help you sell is knowing who these people are and what specific attributes they may be looking for. From this very diverse marketplace, we've selected the five key buying groups to look at. Let's start with this chap. He represents the group called Younger Men. He'll probably be most interested in the sportiness and excitement of New Fiesta. But be careful, we say probably. That's because, as we'll see, the desires of none of these groups can be prejudged. This young lady represents another important buyer group, single women. She'll probably be influenced by the car's styling, but its mere good looks will certainly not be enough on their own for this discerning prospect. The car must also be reliable, and she'll certainly expect it to be easy to drive and look after. Here's a family. They're what the research companies now call full nesters. These people are looking for a well-equipped family package with lots of room for the kids and the luggage. This lady is married and runs her own car. The second car for the wife is, again, an important B-class group. Obviously, she'll expect her car to look the part, 
but she'll also need it to be both versatile and easy to manage. It all adds up to the car giving her a feeling of confidence and independence. Another important group, the empty nesters, are older and, as the name implies, on their own. They will, of course, be looking for comfort, but if they're on a retirement income, then cost of ownership, together with durability, quality and reliability, will be their top priorities. Although they may well have more buying power than you might imagine. We have introduced five Fiesta buying groups. Younger men, single women, full nesters, wives buying a second car, and empty nesters. And we have suggested their likely buying needs. But be careful, there are no golden rules. Nothing can be said with total certainty about any of these people's actual needs. So the problem for the salesman is, how do you start to sell to them? The short answer is, you don't, until you've fully qualified every prospect. Qualifying provides you with useful information like what they're driving now, how old it is and how long they've owned it, what do they like and dislike about their present car, why they think it's time to change it. Only by finding out the answers to questions like these can you build an accurate picture of a prospect's real buying needs. Whether you're selling Fiesta or any Ford car, it is of course essential to qualify every prospect thoroughly. Qualifying not only helps you understand the customer's needs, but also helps you make decisions like, when should I try and close? How quickly should I get the prospect into the driver's seat? How strongly should I be persuading this person to test drive the car? So, it's only by qualifying the prospect that you can accurately discover just what their buying needs really are. The needs you must try to satisfy in order to sell them a Fiesta. Now let's look at five of the major areas of buying need. The most important buying need for some people is style. What the car looks like, the first quality that attracts many buyers. Another buying need is package, how much the car holds the ability of the car to accommodate both people and their luggage. Yet another major buying need we'll call comfort. Comfort is important for everyone of course, but comfort must last. It must be engineered for durability too. This is a key consideration for many buyers and is just as vital a part of the car's engineering integrity as the ride, the handling or the performance in fact. A very different kind of buying need is a sense of confidence. How well does the car give the buyer confidence by being reliable, easy to drive and easy to manage? Also very different is the need for sportiness. The way Fiesta performs and the styling and equipment which create this. So let's see how well Fiesta satisfies each type of buying need starting with style. A point to remember is that new Fiesta is exactly that, new. It is a very attractive car. Don't be afraid to let the car do a lot of the selling itself. Give the customer a chance to look at new Fiesta and walk round it. Don't forget to point out too that it's styling with practicality. All new Fiestas have bumpers which not only complement the lines of the car, but are fashioned from tough, impact resistant, foam filled polycarbonate to protect those lines. Careful design detail has produced up to 15% reduction in drag coefficient compared with the outgoing model. All new Fiestas have a wraparound tailgate, which not only offers a much larger rear window, but has been designed to be especially rigid for freedom from squeaks and rattles. Inside, the design and appearance of both the overall environment and the detail fit and finish add up to an overriding sense of quality of manufacture. Everyone who has sat in a new Fiesta has remarked on the open airy feel. Quite simply, what is a small car on the outside, only 95 millimeters longer than its predecessor, feels very much bigger on the inside, thanks to the 154 millimeter increase in wheelbase. 
And that big car feel certainly carries over to the way Fiesta performs on the road, something she'll feel for herself on the test drive. What can Fiesta offer the prospect whose buying need is the total package? Well, five doors is a good start, while how much a car can carry and how it does it are likely to be big considerations for the family. So, they'll be pleased to hear that new Fiesta has the largest passenger compartment cube in its class. It's wider inside. More room to express yourself. Equally versatile, she's discovering, are all those useful stowage spaces for everything that has to be taken along. With the widest rear doors in the class, the rear is easily accessible. People, even grown-up ones, have no trouble getting in and out, thanks to the unobtrusive wheel arches. Getting things in and out, even lots of them, is no problem either. With 250 litres of usable load space, augmented, of course, by split-fold rear seats. And clever thinking, like the way the rear parcel shelf has been designed to stow neatly here when you don't need it. And this is a package designed to be kept safe and secure too. High security door locks on every new Fiesta. Ideal for those in the city, lockable fuel filler caps. A new security fixing for the optional sunroof to deter the thief as well as giving a variable opening. And where Ford radios are fitted, the security key code keeps them safe. This feature tags each set with a three-digit electronic number. Thus it's pointless anyone stealing the set because it won't work anywhere else until the same number is re-encoded. But surely the security feature of this excellent package, which will appeal to the family man, is the important Fiesta option of Ford anti-lock brakes. Fiesta is the only car in this class to offer anti-lock brakes as an option. From the manufacturer who achieved the pre-eminent position in anti-lock technology for the volume car, the Fiesta system is based on the successful mechanical anti-lock system used on Escort and Orion. Anti-lock brakes for Fiesta is an important option which you should make a special point of discussing with every prospect. For the family then, Fiesta is a safe, secure and highly versatile small car with ultimate package efficiency. Everybody expects the car they buy to be comfortable, but it's a fair bet that comfort and durability will be high on the priorities of this couple. Especially if they're on a retirement income, they'll want to be reassured that their money is well spent. Lasting comfort is, as we said, a total concept. So, the wider front door, even on the five-door model, gives more comfortable access to a prospect to whom it is highly important. Equally, it's important to design seats that retain their comfort throughout the life of the car and don't sag after a period of service. Features like fully moulded seats and welded door hinges are just part of the Fiesta quality story. And here's a golden opportunity to put that knowledge to good use. Knowledge like seat belt adjustment for every car in the range, either automatic on high series cars or with a simple straightforward mechanical adjustment like this on all the other models, tailoring the belt position so that all sizes of people can sit in comfort. And again, this type of prospect is very likely to respond favourably to a comfortable driving position. And in particular, the relationship of the driver's seat to neat, easy-to-read instruments. And not only the light, airy feel of the interior, but the actual excellent visibility. New Fiesta has 10% more glass area, remember. The buyer for whom comfort is one of the prime requirements will find in New Fiesta a car with ride characteristics which frankly set a new benchmark for the class, but which of course can only be appreciated on that all-important test drive. The overall concept of placing the road wheels at each corner maximizes both track and wheelbase, giving exceptional stability and a wide secure footprint on the road. The double vertical bush front and twist beam rear suspension combine to give a matchless ride. And it's a quiet ride too, 
thanks to the development work on the rigidity of the body and on sound deadening materials. As for the engine, don't forget that a prospect like this may well be a strong candidate for the durability, reliability and superb economy of the new 1.8 litre diesel engine. But he may only know about it if you tell him. And the same applies to optional extra cover and extra cover plus. This can provide peace of mind, particularly for the older buyer on a budget. The most exhaustive development program ever has ensured that new Fiesta is not only superbly well built, but engineered to a level of quality and durability which will speak for itself. And that's the kind of story these people want to hear. Nobody perhaps symbolises the desire for confidence more forcefully than the woman driver, the career woman or the wife who drives the family's second car. She won't want a car that she feels will let her down at 10 o'clock at night on a wet country road. So she'll be expecting reliability and Fiesta has always been synonymous with that. Indeed, Fiesta has won a major award specifically for its reliability. She won't expect to spend much time with the hood up but when she does, she'll want to know that levels can be topped up easily. They can. What helps here are the highly visible yellow filler caps. And there's only one reservoir to fill for both front and rear washers. If a fuse blows, she'll want to know it can be found and fixed easily. If a bulb fails, it's very simple and straightforward to replace. And of course, Fiesta is a remarkably straightforward and inexpensive car to service. Although the average driver will be unlucky to experience a puncture even once every five years, it always seems to happen when the trunk is full of things. So the position of Fiesta's spare wheel in this cradle under the floor means it can be removed without having to take all the luggage out. Talking of luggage, if the rear seats are designed to be folded, then she'll want to know it can be done easily with minimum fuss. It can. The detailed planning leads to easy operation of the car, which is what your prospect will be able to feel for herself once she's behind the wheel on the test drive. For a start, as we've heard, new Fiesta offers the kind of ride and handling usually associated with much larger cars. The steering itself benefits from a new rack and pinion ratio, with an improved mounting for a lighter yet more positive feel and a soft feel steering wheel. The result is that manoeuvrability at all speeds is simplicity itself. New Fiesta candidly couldn't be easier to drive, to park and to manage. Unless of course this prospect is the kind of person who will appreciate the optional CTX automatic transmission available with 1.1 and 1.4 litre engines. Overall a pretty good declaration of independence and confidence we're sure she'll agree. For the prospect, particularly the younger man, whose interests quite naturally lie in sportiness, then the Fiesta S fits the bill. With its 1.6 engine, there's plenty of power, and that power is put where it should be, thanks to the special handling by a suspension. The S has a distinctive style of its own, both outside and in. The driver command position not only gives him superb uninterrupted visibility, but also, thanks to advanced ergonomics, instant fingertip access to the controls. And, as this young prospect is about to discover, the S really does make the most of the overall Fiesta concept. The larger footprint Fiesta has on the road, together with larger tyres, combine to give it great stability, while the all-new suspension gives very sharp handling, ideal for the man looking for that sporty feel. And because that suspension on the S-Series is set up for sporty handling with front anti-roll bar, it means the car does have a discernibly different feel from the other Fiestas. Something which will be evident and exciting to a prospect like this. Like all new Fiestas, the S benefits from a braking system which is more than capable of handling its superior performance. And a prospect interested in a performance model like the S means an ideal opportunity of telling him about Fiesta's optional anti-lock brakes. There's no question that the performance star of the new Fiesta launch has to be the dramatic new XR2i. 
It's clearly the most eye-catching car in the range. It's already grabbed the lion's share of attention from the press, and it'll certainly be the car the performance-minded prospects would love to own. It is, simply, properly equipped for the job it has to do. Its powerful 1.6 fuel-injected engine gives startling performance. Its full 110 PS, controlled by EEC-4, the most powerful standalone engine management computer in the world. Its suspension fine-tuned to make the very most of Fiesta's already remarkable handling. If ever a car did a great job in selling itself, then this is that car. So there we are. We've looked at just five general areas of customer requirement and given you a few pointers to the kind of features we believe will help you in satisfying those requirements. But as we said, with B-class buyers, this is not an exact science. For instance, style was, we believed, a particularly big requirement for the young single woman. It probably is. But don't forget that a car's styling is the first thing that attracts any prospect. So tailor the attitude you take to the car's looks depending on the prospect. For them, maybe, styling for practicality. For them, styling for durability. Package is clearly a prime consideration for the family, and it must be a versatile total package too. But she may need the space to carry goods or samples for her job. She may have a dog. They may enjoy frequent motoring holidays. Comfort is clearly a major requirement for these prospects, especially comfort associated with durability. But he may have to drive long distances for his job. There's more of them to keep comfortable. And she expected to be very comfortable anyway. Confidence, ease of management and ease of driving was, we believed, her principal requirement. But she needs easy manoeuvrability, especially if she lives in town. They need easy, inexpensive servicing. They need the reassurance of all those security features. And nobody wants to be more independent than this fellow. Fiesta sportiness will clearly be a prime requirement for our young man. But don't be at all surprised if some quite unlikely prospects turn out to require sportiness. Not everyone had a sports car when they were young, and some people have waited quite a time for the fun of sporty driving. As we said right at the beginning, you simply can't make assumptions about people's needs. You have to start by qualifying to establish their requirements. Then focus on Fiesta features to satisfy those needs and sell the benefits to the prospect. And remember, your most powerful selling tool is the car itself. Its looks, its interior, its drive appeal. Here's our family again, but we'll throw a new fact into the discussion. He's come into the showroom because he's heard all about the exciting new Fiesta, and his own car is up for change. So far, so good. But his own car is an Escort, a bigger car. But he hasn't got the latest Escort, and probably doesn't even know about the many improvements to Escort over the last three years. You have to use all your skills at qualifying very thoroughly here then show the family the new Fiesta, but only if you really think it will suit them. But, if your qualifying shows that they need a bigger car, selling them a Fiesta does them no favours. Here's a couple of examples. New Fiesta certainly boasts a best-in-class passenger cube, but the key word here is class, and Fiesta is in the small car class. It will never be as big as an Escort. The same goes for the trunk, Yes, Fiesta does have 250 litres of usable load space, but it's not as big as an Escort's trunk. Escort's is nearly half as large again. Qualifying will help you decide whether, in fact, a Fiesta is too small for their requirements. If you agree it is, then show them a new Escort to 89 model year specification and sell them the benefits this has over their present Escort. Here's another extra fact now about our young man prospect. He owns a Fiesta XR2. He'd really like to change for a new Fiesta XR2i, but doesn't think he can afford one. We have to recognize that the XR2i is relatively more expensive than the old XR2. That's because it's a lot more car. 
Fiesta XR2i is not simply an old XR2 in a new suit of clothes. It's bigger, it's better equipped, it has a brilliant new road-hugging suspension and a much more powerful fuel-injected power unit. This clear argument needs to be put before the prospect in order to clear his mind of any possible misunderstandings. Then you'll be wanting to talk not about the price of Fiesta XR2i as an absolute, but the price he needs to consider to change to the new car. Get to that with a realistic trade-in price for his existing XR2, give him the best credit arrangements, and you might well discover that the price barrier has suddenly become an opportunity. But if the price question is apparently insurmountable, then you should tell him about Fiesta S. It has the new styling, and a unique look all of its own. It handles beautifully, and with the 1.6 engine, it has practically the same power as his present XR2. Indeed, new Fiesta S is the closest equivalent to the old XR2. For older people, buying a new car can be a very big deal indeed. Although it's true that a 55-year-old man will usually have many times the disposable income of the 40-year-old, this tends to tail off dramatically once retirement age is past. So it's certainly important to find out tactfully just where in the scheme of things your prospects are. Whether their finances are limited or not, more mature buyers like this are unlikely to make snap decisions. They may be apprehensive and rather cautious before committing themselves to what is a big step. They require understanding, gentleness and above all, patience. They may not buy on their first showroom visit, and they won't buy at all if they feel they're being rushed or hustled. Here, for instance, our salesman is in a hurry to make a sale. In fact, he's doing just the opposite and losing one. A retired couple operate to a different timescale. They are in no hurry. Unlike you, they really do have all the time in the world. The secret is to adapt to their timescale and avoid pressure. They are looking for a building of trust, and on that note it's worth remembering that many older people can become anxious about being taken on a test drive by a dynamic young salesman, or embarrassed by having their own driving, as they believe, judged by him. So, if your local circumstances permit, maybe it would be worth letting them have the car on their own for a test drive at their own pace. Most car salesmen believe they're pretty good at selling to women, Research proves women don't agree. In fact, it's known that women don't like going into car showrooms. They think they'll be talked down to. And let's be honest, they often are. So don't assume that the pretty girl is only interested in colour and trim and doesn't know or care about performance or handling. If you do, she'll sense it. Women are, not surprisingly, quick to recognise when they're being patronised. The answer to this is to stop regarding women as a special sort of customer at all. In other words, to treat all prospects, male and female, as important, valued, and above all, intelligent customers. And if a customer, male or female, is at ease and has confidence in you, then you've won half the game at least. Oh, and one last thought. If you find that you regard a pretty female prospect like this, don't forget She'll be looking at you like this. Point taken?